2013 Laredo 291 TG by Keystone here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We're very familiar with this coach because we're the selling dealer of this brand new. Uh, this is one owner RV, no pets, couple kids, no smokers. Traded it in here on a newer, larger Laredo. So they were not only happy with our dealership that they came back, they were not only happy with their Laredo that they purchased another, but both of those things at the same place. Pretty cool. Um, to kind of give you the family layout, uh, at Keystone, their most popular travel trailer is the Springdale. They build and sell more Springdales than anything. Their highest level travel trailer is the Laredo. That's why we carry both of those products here. There's a lot of things on this product that you generally don't find in a travel trailer. And even though some of these features you might see now in 13 when this was built, it was ahead of everybody. Not that that's even that old, but the business changes and updates so quickly. Um, for instance, we have a power awning, power tongue jack on here. So it's uh, very quick and easy to set this up to get this thing level because this is a good size rig. It's nice to have that power lift assist. Now notice that your nose cap also hides the propane tanks. You don't have that uh, cheap plastic ABS cover that can blow off or, or get sun damage going down the road. The fact that the nose cap moves forward to encompass the propane tanks also gives it this cool bullet nose design. And while I don't have hard numbers on exactly what that will do for you, our delivery drivers who bring these things to us from the factory um, immediately at 2013 and forward when they added that bullet nose design, they began to comment on how they were making more money hauling Laredos. The way a driver makes more money is uh, by spending less in fuel. So that tells me that that was helping with their miles per gallon. Um, smooth skin design also helps there. It lowers the wind resistance and makes this thing tow a little better down the road. You see the spare tire on the back here has never touched the ground nor has it seen the sun. This uh, bracket right here, that is for your outdoor grill. Folks never used it. It was a little bit dusty because they just kept it in their garage. They never used the outdoor grill, but they did use their outdoor kitchen quite a bit. They loved this, and that became a, a hard line requirement for their next trailer. This is a very nice one. First of all, you notice with this big door overhead, you have cover. You have shade while you're cooking. You have uh, cover from the rain. Um, out here, we also have very large cabinets. Most outdoor kitchens don't have anything in the way of cabinetry. Um, Laredo's giving you a couple options. They left this space pretty much open down here so you could either put in a small microwave or you see with the coax inputs right here you could put in a nice uh, small television. You have a swing out grill right here. Or, well this is a stove top rather than a grill but one thing I like is it does offer this little work table here so you actually have a spot to set uh, spatulas and spoons. Um, my favorite part of this You've probably heard me say this if you've seen my videos before, it's Dad's Medicine Cabinet. And uh, little stuff like that goes a long way toward, um, you know, cutting down foot traffic in your camper and keeping uh, dirt and debris from getting tracked inside. Uh, you also do have full extension drawers, even out here in the outside kitchen. And notice that even these drawers are full plywood construction. It's not press board and particle board. Um, Another small feature that gets overlooked a lot is an outside shower. Without one, you have uh, no easy way of cleaning up around your campsite. Also, one thing I do want to point out on this product is the insulation package is excellent. Uh, fully enclosed, insulated, forced air heated underbelly. Um, there are several travel trailers claiming that now, again, Laredo has always been ahead of the curve on stuff like that. Aluminum wheels standard on a product like this to make it ride well. And these are radials. This is not bias ply cheap tires. And if you're going to put a little picnic table and TV outside, you do have hookups to do so right there. What is this one weighing in at? 6760. 6,760 pounds is the actual dry weight of this trailer. So that's, that's pretty good, a 30 foot trailer with a big deep super slide. And that's actually one of the other things I wanted to talk about. Um, midway through the 2014 season, they changed their slide systems and the slides became more shallow on our Laredo. This is one of the last generations that had the full deep slide and that's what's giving us this King Dinette right here. If you didn't have the deep slide like this travel trailer has, you wouldn't have that big dinette. That means you have, uh, you, you can fold this down into a bigger sleeping space than a standard dinette. And notice that you get both the, uh, the big dinette and the height of bed. You get both in this one. Now, I mentioned that this is Keystone's highest level travel trailer. And these are things I, I encourage you to look at. Notice that 
all of your doors are full hardwood construction. Um, in a lot of campers, uh, you know, high class, low class, whatever, your upper kitchen cabinet doors like these might be full hardwood construction, but everything else tends to just have a panel insert. They didn't cut corners on this product. That's one of the things I really like about it. Um, you also notice that you have things like a skylight and a vent right here in the kitchen. You have things like uh, flush mount um, light fixtures versus incandescent bulbs and what they call pancake lights. Um, your cabinetry is far bigger. You have more cubic foot of storage space than many other similar layout floor plans. Like, everyone knows how big these, these owner's manuals are, and it's awesome that the owner's manuals are still in this. That means that they kept track of their camper. And this is the third, oh, well, pardon me. This was, the, this was the second trailer these folks bought from Halitz. They traded this in for their third. They bought their last three trailers in a row from here in about three years. So that's, that, that tells you that they have a lot of confidence in us. Um, the uh, sink here is also another thing that you're not going to find in most travel trailers with fifth wheel style pull out um, fixtures. This has a 33% larger um, eight cubic foot refrigerator and freezer as compared to a standard uh, six in most campers. Um, this is a 50 amp service coach. So as it sits right now, it can be used on any 30 amp site but it does have the capability of having a second air conditioner added to it because the wiring and the power supplies are already there. Again, full um, central air and central heat, um, air in the ceiling, heat in the floor. Uh, the idea being obviously that heat rises and cold air falls. The uh, bathroom here, pretty standard layout, but I do like to point out that we do have a taller porcelain stool with a foot flush rather than a low setting plastic stool that saves a buck. Notice you've got the bigger sink in Laredo. You don't have those teeny tiny sinks, but you still have plenty of counter space and this little shelf right here where you can put shavers and blow dryers and all that stuff. And everyone always asks me, well, smart guy, where's the power outlet? Well, they move it away from the water a little bit for safety. Nothing wrong with that. And you do have a spot here to hang towels. Uh, and not only do you have a power vent fan here, but you also have the skylight. Now. This is a good place to show you. You see how the ceiling is taller here than over here. The entire ceiling on Laredo is domed. What that means is that at the pinnacle, it's seven foot tall. And that means that a tall person like me can stand in the shower without ducking. It's that extra space that makes all the difference. It also means you have far more space for uh, the upper bunks in this floor plan. Pretty much anywhere they could, they add storage in these uh, Laredos, and that's one thing I like. You can tell that they've been building these for a long time. Um, back here, now you have a single bunk on this side because below it is the outdoor kitchen, but you notice that we still have uh, a ladder built in so the kids can get up and down without mom and dad heaving them. We have three of these exceptionally large dresser drawers. You can put a lot in there. We have a full hanging wardrobe closet here. Let's see, you can barely get a good look in there. Let me uh, turn the light on here just a moment. There you go. So that gives you an idea how big those are. You can see those hangers and they're hanging uh, straight at us. So you can actually, you have a big, big wardrobe hanging closet in there. Twin bunks over here. And you notice that every single bunk has its own um, window. So you can add cross ventilation, um, they have uh, their own light, you know, it's 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 just the way that a bunkhouse is supposed to be built And you do have central air and heat vents back here in the bunkhouse Now a couple things notice that we do have sliding pocket doors for mom and dad's bedroom So you can close that and get privacy and look at this big honking television. This is a 40 inch high-def flat screen uh, In 13 nobody did this Laredo was the only one doing this and now you're starting to see other people follow suit and what's neat is your big honking flat screen it can work for the living room it works for mom and dad that's all there is to it and you notice they also finished the back off with a mirror they didn't just uh, do the television a lot of manufacturers just have a flat wooden backer on here it's nice to see that mirror it means that they were not cutting corners your entertainment center down here is an all-in-one am fm cd dvd stereo indoor outdoor speakers auxiliary inputs for ipads ipods all that stuff it does everything basically. Um, little things here. 
There are power outlets and a little shelf on both sides of the bed for alarm clocks, lights, fans, uh, breathing machines. There's also a recessed headboard shelf with its own power outlet up here. And if you notice on your entertainment center, you have extra power outlets. So you can plug stuff in all over the place in this trailer. Um, this is also a true queen bed. This is an 80 inch long queen, not a 74, 76 inch quote camper queen. So a tall guy like me, my feet do not hang off of this bed. There's a reason we've always sold so many of these. It's a great trailer. Um, give us a call, learn even more, or better yet, just come see it in person. Number here is 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Take care, happy camping.